Hey guys, Boomster here, back in the right Clash new video, and today um, we will be playing Minecraft Clashes, and today I shall show you guys how to make a Minecraft render thing and add effects and stuff to make it look cool, okay? Because uh, um, the reason I'm making this tutorial is because the one person in the comments asked, so I'll like, show the comment on screen now, uh, I'll just show the comment on screen, and uh, the other reason is because, I don't know if you guys have seen my last video, this is the thumbnail for my last video, but anyway, um, Mark, you've helped me in that video, so, um, yeah, he, um, he helped me in that video, so he asked me to make him a profile picture, and I thought, okay, this is a great idea, I'll just, like, kill two birds, bunch stone or something, okay, something like that. So anyway, yeah, let's just get right into it. What you're gonna need for this tutorial is, um, there's actually a ton of ways you can do this. Uh, you can use uh, Blender or Cinema 4D, but, uh, for this video, we shall be doing Cinema 4D because that's, uh, nowadays I just do all my renders with Cinema 4D, like this render is made with Cinema 4D. The editing of the render, okay? You need Photoshop, but there's also, if you don't have Photoshop, there's this program called GIMP because GIMP can accept Photoshop files and Photoshop uh, layer styles and stuff, so just uh, download everything from the description, I'll put the links in the description, and um, yeah, I'll, just watch the video and go figure out what to do. But anyway, first you're going to want to open up Cinema 4, Cinema 4D, so I'm going to do that. Or Blender, open up Blender or Cinema 4D, okay. Okay, while I um, wait for this to open, I just want to ask you guys to like the video. If this video gets a bunch of likes, I will make a part 2 or something, I guess. I don't know. But in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to make renders and like profile pictures, I guess. If you guys want a thumbnail tutorial or something later, then I'll show you guys that, but yeah, whatever. But anyway, uh, this is a rendering studio thing. I have like a preset render here for me because I don't want to like remodel the entire render again. Yeah, also, you're gonna, you're gonna need a Lightroom for this, okay? Don't just open up Cinema 4D, okay? You're gonna need a Lightroom. I use uh, this Lightroom by Adqua Artwork, but you can use uh, any Lightroom you want. I just use this one because it's the one I've been using forever, so yeah. And uh, for each one of these renders, I use a different rig. For Markip skin, um, I think I'll go with... Alright, so I've decided, uh, I've selected a rig. I'm just gonna pick the Melon rig. I need to find it now because there it is, it's right here. So yeah, for this tutorial, we'll, I'll just help you the melon rig, it'll be in the description. And I don't use the actual melon rig, I use the SCMR edited. Uh, I think this is the... Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I have this render here. And I'm using uh, Cinema 4D R17, you can use whatever version you want. Okay, I'm gonna just take this, drag it in there. Boom. Okay, now we have a skin here. It looks about right. Um, yeah, this looks right. Like, it, it looks perfect, okay? Before we do the posing and stuff. Go all the way down here and just enable everything. There's usually um, the normal melon rig doesn't have this option, so you can't have second layer stuff on the rest of your skin. So yeah, just use this version instead. You have to do like some random pose that look okay. They're, they're too dark, okay, and the hair is too bright, so I'll just increase the, the eyebrow colors. Okay, anyway, now we got this done, uh, let me just grab this. Look at this. And it's gonna make like a render thing, I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done. Okay, anyway, it looks weird because of the mouth, okay? So the mouth needs to be removed. I'm gonna make it as hard to see as possible. So basically this. Because uh, you're just gonna edit this out, okay? The mouth's just gonna be edited out.
There you go, it looks about right now. Now that we've got this done, click this. Oh, okay, I just realized something. I forgot to, uh, forgot to explain this. Oh, uh, okay, I, I just realized something. Okay. Anyway, um, to render this, what you're gonna want to do is go ahead, go up here somewhere. Here, okay, to render. Quick render. Click edit render settings and copy these settings. Okay. Uh, pixels per inch 72. Uh, width height. Uh, just copy all these. In, okay. And uh, for output, I'm gonna click this. Uh, this is where I'm saving it. Remember to change this to PNG 8-bit channel. Just, just copy all this stuff, okay? Just copy everything here, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're we got this really cool render, right? Um, it hasn't shown up on screen yet, but whatever. Uh, you see, there's a smiley face here, right? We need to get rid of that. That's where you should open up your editing software, the the, the video, the photo editing software, okay? Drop something up. Okay, anyway, guys, now that you got Photoshop open, what you're gonna want to do is click Create New. Take this, um, depends on what you're making, but for profile pictures, just, um, 1080 by 1080, 720p, click create. Okay, anyway, now that we've got Photoshop open, uh, find your render where I put it, I have no idea where I put my render. So there, just grab that, drag it in, full screen, take this thing, drag it to a good size, I mean, now that you got this done, click here. The grass is there. Then see the smell period. Just find the spot healing tool. This is it. Let's it. Let's click select so where's it? I think this is the spot healing tool. Okay, but what you're gonna do is just draw them out. Just remove all the spots. Just remove all the marks. There are like some lines here from the mouth too. We'll just remove all of them. Make them out completely clear. It looks okay now, I guess. But whatever. Now that you've done this, uh, next step is to go ahead and do this. Okay, just like drag over, control V, control C, control V, generate again, then get rid of this one. And I got this. Um, what I usually do is I have this pack called the Insanity Pack. It's pretty good. I have like a bunch of packs, like a bunch of Photoshop packs. But let me just open that up. And the pack finally opened. Um, it's lagging because it's like. That pack is like one gigabyte, so yeah. Anyway, now that we opened the and the Sandy pack up, what you're gonna do is go to CCs. Um, that any that. Go to CCs, then test out the different layer styles. For this one, I think I'll go. Like I'll go with this one. Just go with this one, paste this over it. Get rid of this now. You don't need the same words. You don't need this to look bad. Got that one, and I'll just chop this first layer style. Paste this one here too. There you go. Now that we got this down, and I think I forgot to do something here. Yeah, okay, I forgot to heal that part. Okay, there, okay, now it looks fine. But right now that we got this done, what you're gonna want to do is double click on this. Okay, now that you double clicked on it, it should open this layer style thing up. Go ahead, click inner shadow. Um, in a glow, just copy all these settings here that I'm showing you here. Just copy this. Uh, yes, enable color overlay. I think gradient needs to be on too. Yes, just enable, just copy these settings. Okay, just copy whatever settings I'm using. And click OK. I've made these the default so you wouldn't have to make them again. But whatever. Mm. Now I've done that, click this. Uh, you need a background, so just get a Minecraft screenshot or something. I'm just gonna get one now. Oh, we just use the draconic screenshot pack, I guess. Okay, whatever. Um, looking at it, I think the end volume would look pretty good for this. Yeah, the end volume would look pretty good. It's too purpley, but I can just do something with the hue, so it's fine. Just grab a picture that looks pretty endy. Like 
this one, you see how like ND it looks? Boom. Do that. Go ahead and do the same exact thing I did for the profile picture. Drag it over. Control C, Control V, and delete the original. Okay, now to John Dedge, copy the layer styles from the profile picture, paste the layer style to here to do something like this. What you're gonna want to do now is add like some hues, kind of I guess, to the profile picture. Just look at this tiny arrow here on the side to hide the effects tabs. And then now it looks like this. Go here. Uh, hold control and click on the, the, the image, okay? It should select all the, the pixels. After you've done that, click this. Make sure it's like this big, opacity 51% or something like 50% hardness. Make sure it's like close to zero. And for this one, I think I'll make it like a purplish one. Just do whatever theme yours profile picture thing is. But I think like about there that should be good. Yeah, that's about good. I'll just nope, okay no, that was too much too much. Okay, um pretty Okay, got it has this like shade here. What I want to do is go ahead and make a new layer. Take this, same uh, color thing, and just this is what I just do. I just yeah. And after you've done the purple thing on the one on one side of the thing, what I want to do is make the other side look. White, okay, it's like not there. But yeah, but you're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna make the other side brighterish. So just take it, make it like a pinkish color. Cause I mean, then this is the end, like, profile picture thing. So yeah, just made it a pinkish color. And just, boom. And then we got something like that, okay. So yeah, you gotta make one side look darkish and the other side look brighter ish, okay? I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but yeah. Let me take this. Just make it dark again. Just make it dark again. And you guys are basically done. Um, just yeah, it's, it isn't that hard, I guess. So yeah, just open this up. Go ahead and the particle fixer. Particle, oh, there you go. Particle fixer here. Okay, now I have messed up. Copy that. Paste it here. Boom. Particles. Now this particle effects, um, just put, make sure the particles are everywhere except for like, the face and the body, just take this and just like, click on them until they're grayish, if it's okay, so it will speed this process up, boom, but yeah, just add some particle effects like that. To move down because that one looks weird, and this one, uh, I might just copy this there thing. Does this look pretty? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just copied one of the layer spells from this thing. I forgot which pack I got this from, so yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Uh, I'll figure out what pack is and link in the description. If somebody, if I, if I forget to link it, just um, somebody punch me. Okay, so apparently I've made a mistake. Now, uh, okay, I just had some of the eye color thing. I I had some eye color thingies, and um, what else did I? I had this thing, like the, the, the squiggly thing. I'll, I'll leave that in the description too, or something maybe. Okay, if you guys liked it, leave a like. If you guys didn't like, leave a dislike. Um, subscribe if you want. If you like Minecraft content, okay, I, I, this is like a, a special video because it was like a requested video. Uh, if you guys want to request a video, just leave it in a comment. I might make a video on it. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. So as always, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video. See you guys.